in 1942, and also Yvonne Kennedy, who was on the American Airlines flight that was hijacked and crashed into the Pentagon on 9-11. Anthony Albanese, uh, 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 sit down with President Joe Biden, they're scheduled... The reason we can stop today is your speed. You check from uh, 59 up to 62 in the school zone. Any reason for speed today? This is part of a process where you move things, heavy things, one day and you think you're all settled and then you get a different idea the next day so you have to move all the heavy things again. Hopefully there's an end to that process. Another thought I had was I'm going to pile all these things back on top of here but if I leave enough space at the front here I can actually set up my working lathe on top of this yes it'll get messy as hell but sure who cares so I might have a think about how I'm going to do this uh, So I had a good think about it and this magically popped out of my head. You get the gist. This is a nice sturdy, will be a nice sturdy bench on top here. I'm gonna go and get a nice big thick of thick piece of probably plywood. Uh, and actually two pieces because I'm gonna put a shelf underneath to put the dead lathes and other bits and bobs under a shelf. And then I'll have the working laid on top of this with lots of bench space behind it so that's what popped out of my head just then I thought I'd go for it this is a nice piece of hardwood I think it was a fence uh, stringer I planed the front of it because it deserves to be shown the, the rest is rough but that's so I used um, hardwood fence palings for the shelf because they're just lying around I might as well use them up and I don't know where they are if I need them for something else they're not nailed down they're just lying on top of that with uh, supports running across that way Plenty strong, I think. Now I've just got to load it up. Tetris thing happening here. There we go. Perfect.
Good one, Grandad. It's a bit rocky. Not a weight on it. I'll put some bracing on the back, is what I'll do. And it'll be solid. Nice handy bench when I put a lid on it. This stuff for bracing houses. So I guess it'll be strong enough for this. Especially with these big heavy screws in it. Definitely under tension, and oh yeah, that has made a big difference. The wobbliness. Nineteen mil structural plywood with about thirty screws in it. That should help with rigidity. It looks nice, feels nice. I might even put some uh, varnish on that. Uh, I chose this top today at Bunnings for strength and price. One hundred and five dollars for this sheet of plywood. Uh, and the rest was all scraps, a free pallet. Uh, most of that timber is from my $1 a piece uh, bargain bin the other day. So out of a total of $14, that probably cost me about six bucks. This was 105, but it's a good bench for that price, eh? Anyway, thanks for watching me doing stuff on the fly. Tune in next time for something equally as boring or exciting or whatever you choose to consider it. Ciao. I just have to sort out the rest of the mess again.